Okay, we're rolling. Action! Okay. All right. I just want to ask you people. Are you jealous of my body? Well, first of all, I got the Monster Bash shirt on. Look at it. Monster Bash University. Come to the Monster Bash. I'm going to be there. I'm going to get up on stage and flex my muscles just like this. MonsterBashNews.com. That's the Monster Bash Classic Monster Movie Convention. I'm their most notorious guest of honor or guest of honor because I'm a fiend. And I'm going to get up on stage June 22nd to the 24th. One of those days between the 22nd and 24th this June 2012, I'm going to be there. So the world can't end because i got to bash the Monster Bash and you guys got to bash the Monster Bash. And the world ain't going to end because the Bible says world without end, amen. And it also says that the earth shall never perish. It says that in Psalms and all kinds of 800 promises or so proving the world can't end. Amen, brother. The end of the world guys are full of it. Yeah, Jesus is coming, but he's not coming to end the world. Okay? Antichrist comes first, and then the real Christ is going to bind him a thousand years after Antichrist's three and a half year reign. And the real Christ will reign a thousand years because Antichrist will be bound a thousand years. And so will the devil and the false prophet. That's the unholy trinity. Devil, the false prophet, and the Antichrist, or a.k.a. the beast. Yeah. Yeah, in his image of the beast, they're going to be bound a thousand years when the real Christ reigns. After Antichrist three and a half year reign. Okay, enough of that talking. Now back to the monster bash. You know, back to my... I want to ask you people, are you jealous of my body? Oh, oh man, oh man, I'm blocking the screen there. Okay. Can you see me? Are you jealous of my body? I just did 70 leg lifts tonight, man. Straight up and down. Feet up to the ceiling, come down the floor, up to the ceiling, down. My legs together, slightly bent. And then I held, on the last rep, I held it, and I lowered it real slow. And then I held it for like 10 seconds, lower it a little more, hold it 10 more seconds, lower a little more, and hold that for 10 seconds. And I'm holding it, uh, you know, right above the ground, you know, like an inch, inch or two above the ground, holding it for like 10 more seconds. Uh, and my abs got real tight. Look at that. Look at that, man. You see the lines there? Abs, man, abs. Uh, are you jealous of my body? Are you jealous of my six pack? Uh, like King Kong. Uh, and I did my military, my roll pull downs. Three sets of pull downs, man. 12 reps. I held it. Then I rested a few minutes. Then I did eight more. Uh, uh, you know, I did eight reps holding it. Come up slow in the last rep. Rested a few more minutes, then I did 12 more. You know, came, on, came up slow on the last trip. Oh man, I'm all pumped, man. Look at those biceps, triceps, like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Look at the last right there, man. Look at the last right there, man. Sergio Oliva. This is Sergio Oliva Sr. I'm talking about. The one who was in Mr. Olympia 84, his final contest. He really looked good. Making a comeback about age 40 or something, or 42. Man, he was huge. I met him twice, man. He was a Rogers Park policeman. I met him. I tried to sell him a dictionary when I was door to door back in the late 80s, early 90s. I was at his gym, Oliva's Power and Beauty Gym, over there on Ridge Street in Rogers Park, but it closed down. But yeah, he's huge. Sergio Oliva. Back. Lats. Lats spread. Wow, little lats right there, man. Little lats right there, man. Trapeze gets trapped. To do the upright rolls, you know. What traps, man? Trapezius muscles by my neck. I'm doing upright rolls, man. Are you jealous of my body? 
You dealt with my biceps. My triceps. It's more than you're afraid to left hook. The knee pads, the answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like Ron Man says the monster rage. Come on, Dave, put your shirt back on. I gotta have my glass of milk, man. I have to work out drink. Yeah, my Winnie the Pooh drink glass right there. That's from Pooh's Grand Adventure. And there's the little tiger there. Yeah. From Welch's. This would be a great uh, jelly jar. And I'm gonna have my banana. Probably banana, have quick carbs after a workout. I look, a piece of banana bread. Mmm, that's good, doesn't it? Mm. Dunk it in milk, I must dunk it. I must dunk it for a mummy, in honor of the mummy. Mmm. Okay. Like, like Ron Rondo Adams says, the Bash Monster himself, who started the Monster Bash classic movie convention, he says, come on, Dave, put your shirt back on, come on. When I'm on stage flexing my muscles, you know, he says, he says, come on, Dave, put your shirt back on, come on. It's disgusting. So, <laughs> put my shirt back on. Like Bill Johnson says, Big Bill Johnson, he sent me an email, he says, me and my family drove 500 miles to the Monster Bash to see movies. We didn't come to see you take off your shirt. Or, we, came to, we came to watch monster movies. We came to come to the Monster Bash and meet the guests. Not to see you take off your shirt. And he said, by the way, because they used to have a mustache. He said, by the way, you remind, you remind me of a certain Nazi dictator. Because <laughs> they had a mustache and I'm talking real loud. <laughs> so like, now he's a friend of mine on Facebook. Nice guy. But it's kind of funny, you know, that he said that. We didn't drive 500 miles to see you take off your shirt. <laughs> oh, okay, now I'm going to, I'm just dunk brownie. My banana cake in the milk, mummy milk. From the mummy cows in Egypt. I must dunk it, I must dunk it for a mummy, in honor of the mummy. Like Dr. Suave says, he must dunk his brownie in the suave way java. Do it for a mummy, dunk it for a mummy. Mmm. 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 Milk make you big and strong. Like me, like David Rock Nelson. Okay. Like Charles Atlas. Mmm. I'll see ya. Monster Bash, that's a shock monster. Cool, huh? Okay, I'll say go to my website, davidrocknelson.com, and buy my movies.